So in order for you to know that you know the moon phases, doing it one time is not going to prove successful. You have to be able to do this over and over again. This is part of what we call memorization, but this is, this is also part of the learning process that doesn't involve a computer, it doesn't involve technology, it just requires you, pencil, and paper. So, what we just did, I'm going to do again. And what you're going to do on another sheet of paper is to do it again. So, we start with the center circle labeling that earth. So you need to be doing this again on your paper. Because the more times you see it, you say it, you write it, you learn it. That's how the learning process helps. Then we're going to do our cardinal directions of the moon faces and put our north, south, east, and west circles in. So there's step two, doing your cardinal directions. We then want to show which side are we going to have the sun coming from. So I'm going to draw little arrows here to represent the sun's rays. And I'm going to write the sun down as well. Again, the more times you do this, the more you will learn it. So what we need to be thinking in our head right now is the moon phase that is closest to the sun is the first moon phase. It's the new moon. So I'm going to write new moon. Always opposite the new moon is the second most common moon phase that everyone can correctly identify, and that's the full moon. So I have one-fourth of the moon phases complete already. Now I'm going to draw my arrows out here to show that the moon phases change and rotate in a counterclockwise motion, just as the Earth rotates counterclockwise, just as the Earth revolves around the sun counterclockwise. So since I start here and make my way this direction, here is my first quarter moon phase. And opposite the first quarter is the? Third quarter. Third quarter, thank you. Now, one half of the moon phases are complete. Now, I like to use different colors, so we're just going to continue to keep it colorful. And now, I will draw in my other four circles for the next four moon phases. The thing we want to be thinking in our head is the new moon is the completely dark moon. We can't see it at all. And the two moon phases that are nearest it are going to be mostly dark with just a sliver of light on them. And that sliver is the what? What do Crescent. we call that sliver? Crescent. Crescent. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something that embarrassed myself, but have you ever heard of the Pillsbury Doughboy? Yes. Raise your hand if you don't know who the Pillsbury Doughboy is. Come on, it's okay. Okay, so that's about half of you. Okay, just watch. And you just keep that on the screen, okay? Okay. Just be patient with me. So here so we go. We're going to watch a commercial. Yeah, I'm working on it for about years. So now let me show you how it's I know what family What's he selling? Crescents. Crescent rolls. Crescent. Crescent. Now we call them croissants, but they're crescents. And what moon phase are we looking for here? The crescent. So I took off with this. The best part is always the end of these commercials. We haven't had these commercials made in a while, but listen to the end. Three, 
Jack. Full house. Hot fresh. Why? Why? Oh, hot fresh Pillsbury crepe. Marge baked them last night. Oh. Mm. And the buttery flavor. Buttery. Oh, yeah, they were loaded with buttery flavor. Every one of them. Oh, uh, like <clears throat> how many? Every one of them. Three, four, five. Oh. Oh. Try Marge's flavor crepe. Fresh and hot from Pillsbury. Says it. Okay, so, come on, now we're going to pop this back open. So now, oh, come on, no, I don't need fresh, the Pillsbury Doughboy. Sorry. Out of cookies, let's make some. I don't want that anymore. Okay, now, pop up, baby. There we go. So, when we think of these two that are right beside the new moon, we want to think of crescent. All right? These are the crescents. So, writing crescent here, writing crescent here. And you can think of a nice, hot, buttery flavored crescent because you turn those on the side and that's what you got for a moon phase. All right, and then on the other side, here we have the full moon in which we see the whole moon, and now we want to write the word that means almost full, and that is gibbous. Gibbous. All right, now we're almost complete. We only need two more words now. What word... Do I need to write up here that completes this side of it? Waxing. Waxing. So, waxing here. Waxing here. And what word do I need to write down here that completes it? Carter? Waning. Waning. I also have a question. Okay, just one second. It's kind of an hour. Wait, that's not a second. You, you only waited a half. Guy, at least give me one full second. Okay. What came first, the crescent moon phase or the crescent full moon? Oh, that's a good question. So what came first, the egg or the chicken? What came first, the crescent roll? Is it named after? The so many crescent? life decisions we have to make in three seconds. Is it named after seconds? the crescent roll, or is it named after, or is the crescent roll named after the moon phase? Man, if we only had all of these difficult life questions ahead, you may stop it now.